What's up, it's your guy, Mr. Encore, back with another banger. In this video, I explain how I made over $8,000 selling my beats in 2019. Let's get into it. Oh, it's good. I just want to start this video off by saying this is not clickbait. I don't do that. I just want to share my real experience and hopes to inspire another music producer on the come up who's trying to make some money. $8,000 might not seem like a lot of money. You're not gonna quit your job right away. You're probably not gonna pay your rent the first few months, but you're getting paid to do what you love and you cannot beat that, you know what I'm saying? Especially starting from zero and making any amount of money is a positive. Let's get into the ups and downs of what I learned along the way. In January 2019, I decided I wanted to monetize my passion in music production. I came up with the idea of the 365 Beat Challenge. The Beat Challenge basically entails I had to post a beat every day on my Instagram for the year of 2019. No days off, no excuses, no matter what. I figured if I used hashtags and stayed consistent, I could boost my engagement, up my follower number, and possibly get more ears and listeners on my music. It started working right away. By mid-January, I started selling tracks and people started to tune in to find out what the beat of the day would be. Consistency will separate you and put you in a whole nother league, especially when it comes to music producing because it's such an oversaturated market and there's tons of whack producers and there's tons of hot producers. Making a beat every day for one year not only taught me discipline, it made me a better producer. One of the biggest mistakes I made early on was switching up my style way too much. I like to create all genres, but I know I'm strongest in boom bap, lo-fi, soul sample type beats. It doesn't mean I don't make club or reggae or pop sometimes. It just means that you should stick to what you're good at. Which brings me to another point. Understand who you want to sell to. I noticed that most of the people buying my beats were backpack rappers, R&B singers, who mostly love boom bap and lo-fi type of beats. They ask me for those constantly. So I started making those every day and posting them on my Instagram. I know you probably are thinking, okay, well how much were you selling your beats for? Good question. I basically sold my beats anywhere from $75 to the highest beat sold was about $350. I figured I'd never go under 75 because I just felt like my music was worth that much. Another huge mistake I made was only focusing on Instagram. I was so heavy on Instagram because it was working. It was making me money. But I neglected YouTube and I neglected Beatstars. I posted on Twitter sometimes, but imagine if I would've had all of those rolling at once. I could've tripled that $8,000, maybe even quadrupled it. Looking back, I had some wins and losses. It's all part of the game. You know what I'm saying? You just gotta learn and keep it pushing. A wise man once said, this is a music business. Don't focus so much on the music that you neglect the business side of it. That's how you get ripped off. If you're a music producer on the come up, I'm living proof. You can make money off your tracks. Just post it online, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Beatstars. Hell, who knows? You might make 10 times what I made last year. So get up off your ass and make some tracks. I'm about to make a beat right now.